What was it like to have the first responders in the audience watching your practice? What does it mean for this team to be kind of a glue to the community now? Yeah, obviously, obviously, uh, a lot of respect for those guys. Um, obviously, a tragedy happened two years ago, and um, they're in the front lines, kind of taking care of the city. So, um, you know, heroes in our eyes for sure, and uh, to have them here is, is an honor. Governor Sisolak was even in the audience as well. So you had some, you know, elected officials there too. Um, I know hockey players don't get politically involved, maybe like some other sports. I was just wondering, what is the role of the hockey team in terms of? dealing with these kind of issues like gun violence, if any? Well, I mean, uh, you know, I wasn't here in October, sec or, sorry, I wasn't here two years ago, but, um, you know, I think from, from everything I heard and, you know, being here over the last couple of years, um, you know, what this team did was just kind of bring the community together. You know, obviously it's not something we can be on the front lines for, but, um, you know, just kind of, Allowing the community to, to breathe a little bit and smile and, um, and you know and bring them together is is the least we can do I guess. Um, but yeah, it's 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 tough. You know those those guys in the crowd. They're those are the ones that were were the heroes of that day and, and the ones that kind of you know really saved the community. I know you'll be sh uh, sharing lunch with them. I think after practice now. What will what's your message for them? Just thank you. Okay. Yeah, I think that's you know that's. Really, all you can say is, is, you know, thank you for everything they do, especially on that day. But you know, everything they do daily and putting their lives uh, lives on the line to protect this community. Appreciate your time, Ryan. Time. Yeah.